In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use a projector and a Microsoft Connect to create a range of interactive displays. This can be floor displays, door displays, touch interactive kitchen displays, or even displays of more complicated shapes like beds. So first things first is you start up the UB Displays application. And uh, you'll notice there's some monitor icons up there. And when you hover over these, you get a little tooltip which uh, tells you which screen it is you're hovering over. So we'll go ahead and select the projector and the connect. And this brings you into calibration mode. So here we click these four little dots which appear on the screen in sequence. So you can zoom in with the scroll wheel to do that. Uh, there we go. And you left click to select. Now there's this whiteout mode which um, makes it easier to see the points if you can't see the projection area. And another little trick is if you can't see the little dot, you can move the mouse onto the other screen, pick it up like this, and, and give it a move around so you can place it exactly where you want it. Now it's, only, it's important that all these four dots are calibrated to lie along the same plane because that gives um, it some information about the world around it. And you'll see there's this tiny little dot following the mouse, and that means that your calibration is good and it's working okay. So now we'll click the Draw Surface button, and this defines an area of the uh, scene where a display can appear. Once you've done that, you'll see it appear like that, and you can take the corners and drag it around and reposition it. There we go. So you can see, um, you can make it fit a shape very well. You can projection map it to the surface you want. And surfaces are places where any content can appear. We're rotating it back the right way around now. And you can hold control to uh, move the whole thing at once. So the next step really from here is to take a piece of content. So we're taking any HTML file stored on the computer and we're just simply dropping it onto the surface. Now you'll see it's gone green there, which means it's able to be used. When you hold it over, you get a yellow border. There we go, and that's it, that's done. That display is active and calibrated and ready to be interacted with. So there you go, you can see it being used now. And because it's um, all web standards, you can go to any web page, and once you inject the touch events using the settings, um, you should be able to just drag a URL straight onto the display in a similar manner. And there you go, you get your interactive maps in under a minute. Now you might encounter a situation where you need to put a surface or display on something which isn't flat to the table. So in this case what we're going to do is we're just simply going to hit draw display again and draw out the display over the uh, middle of the unflat surface. Then we stretch it out so it fits it properly. There you go. And you'll see when on the screen it didn't quite line up properly. So when you do deploy some content on it, we're just uh, correcting the corners now. But yeah, when you deploy some content on that, like here, you'll notice that you get this sort of red line across it, and that means it's not working properly because um, those are touch points that it, it's getting confused with. And this is because of the parallax um, from the different heights. So you can hold down Control and sorry, shift and take the corners of that display and um, there you go drop them onto the correct corners as seen in the video feed and it works you can correct for those kind of errors the other situation you might encounter is if you want to separate the touch surface from the display itself so again using the same technique hold down shift and drag each corner to where you want it to be and then you should be able to touch we've just done it below the display touch below and off it goes So that's all I'm going to show you in this video. I hope it helps you get up and going and you make some cool things. Um, please contact me if you do. I'd love to see them. Thank you very much.